I'm going to make a spiced rum pineapple upside down cake. These are the ingredients you need. One cup of raisins that have been sitting in spiced rum overnight. I just poured enough rum so to cover them and by the morning they're pretty well uh, plumped up with the rum. Then we have one can of pineapple slices and heavy syrup. One box of white, yellow I should say, cake. Dark brown sugar. Seltzer water. And two nice cage-free brown large eggs. Turn the oven on to 350 to preheat. Dump your cake batter in a bowl. Drain your raisins of the rum. Then throw them in the cake batter and coat them with the cake batter. Otherwise, they'll all stay at the bottom when you pour them into your cake pans. Okay, put your brown sugar in a bowl, break it up so it's nice and fine, get all the lumps out. Then we're going to take our cake pan, give it a good spray of oil. Take one of our pineapple rings and coat it nice and even with the brown sugar. Nice, good coat on there. Then we're going to put it in the bottom of our cake pan. There were three pineapple rings left over, so I went ahead and chopped them up finely, and I'm going to add them to the cake batter, just like the raisins, and stir to combined, so they're nice and covered with the cake batter. And I had uh, drained all the juice, it's just the pineapple pieces with no uh, extra liquid, because we'll be adding the liquid with the soda water, which is what's going to make our cake rise instead of using all the oil and other stuff that, that you usually use in a cake. This will be a little lower calorie. Now we're going to go ahead and break the eggs into our measuring cup. And that's with the leftover rum. And then we're going to take our Soda water, and we want to get 12 ounces all together, including our eggs and our rum. Give the eggs a little stir. Break them up a little bit before I put the soda water in there. Okay, now we're going to measure up to 12. Right now we have, uh, looks like two-thirds cup here and we want exactly one and a half cups. So I'm going to go ahead and pour it up to one and a half. Pour quickly so you see the line of the liquid, not the foam. I stopped right where the liquid stops. I'm not looking at the foam part. And then we go ahead and mix it in our batter. And you don't need a blender or anything with this. It's mixed up good. Go back to my spoon here. Make that soda water that makes it all nice and bubbly and airy. Feel the bottom and the corners so you don't have any pockets of cake mix. And that looks good. Now we start filling our cups up here. Pineapple already in there. See the kind of what it looks like after it's sat for a little while. There we 
go. And I'm going to film about three-fourths of the way. And try not to make a mess on the outside. <laughs> Good luck with that, right? some room for them to rise. Clean up around the side a little bit so you don't get any burning. On the inside. There we go. That's how it should look. Three-fourths of the way full. Before putting in the oven, go around with a wet finger and get off anything that's on the sides or in the middle because when you go to take these and put them upside down. You don't want any area that's going to cause stickage. So I just take a damp finger and go all the way around make sure I don't have anything that's going to stop them from coming out in one piece. Then on the outside too, so just so you don't smell the burning. Put them in your preheated oven for 20 minutes and then check. To make a pineapple sauce for the top of the cake, take the leftover juice from your canned pineapple and put a heaping tablespoon of cornstarch in it while it's still cold. Stir it so that it's fully dissolved and then heat this until it thickens. After 20 minutes, remove one from the oven and take a skewer. And don't poke all the way down because you don't want to hit the pineapple, but you should take the skewer out and it should be clean. And that means they're done. And they're beautifully browned on top. I've heated the pineapple and cornstarch mixture, and once it is cooked, it'll thicken and it'll become translucent instead of the white milkiness it was when it was uh, uncooked. And it'll be like almost like a pineapple gel. And that's a nice little topper for our little cakes. After 10 minutes, you want to get a nice plate out. Take one of your cakes. It's I can handle it now. It's still hot, but I can handle it. And give it a good wham. Sometimes it needs more than one. <laughs> there we go. Almost perfect. One raisin got in the way there. Otherwise, there's your pineapple upside down cake. And we'll get our pineapple gel. And give it a little extra gooeyness on top. Kind of let it drizzle down the sides. Ready to serve. Enjoy.